Can you comment on, on Nate's performance and, and what you thought of the way he rose up in his final fight and not only box so well like everybody knew he could do, but then get to submission on a guy like Tony? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it, it, he's so durable and so tough. And, uh, you know, I, I, literally, we went, at, you, I don't know if you guys have monitors over there, but we went, at, or, or you can hear what's going on, but we went into their corner. Uh, Tony's corner that round, and his corner, for some reason, told him to take him down. Said, take him down. He was chopping that leg. He kept kicking that front leg, obviously doing damage. His corner told him to take him down, and Nate capitalized on that the minute he did it. Did you feel like uh, uh, Tony and Nate delivered the fight you expected? Uh, was that kind of what you thought they would do? Yeah, yeah, I think so. You know what I mean? Listen, they're... they're they're both older guys that have been around here for a long time, and uh, yeah, yeah, th 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 it was what I expected. What do you make of what Nate said that he's open to a return to the UFC? Obviously, he said he's going to do something else, but uh, open to a return down the road. I mean, uh, you know, obviously Listen, he's 37 no, now. No matter what Nate does from here on out, I mean, the, the, the kid, this is his house. He's been here forever. It's been a blast having him here, and. Uh, uh, you know, I wish him well. He and I had this discussion months ago at the offices. I, you know, whatever he moves on to do, I wish him nothing but the best. If he's starting his own organization or, you know, getting into promoting or, or doing something else, it's, uh, I wish him nothing but the best of luck. It's been awesome having him here. Two other questions for me. Obviously, you know, people pretty much expected Hamza to do what he did. Uh, especially given short notice and Kevin couldn't train for the wrestling. I don't, know, I don't know if anybody expected him to do exactly what he did. You don't know what to expect from that guy. The wrestling for him to go out, and this is like his fourth fight that he's never even taken a punch. He's an absolute freak of nature, and I don't think anybody expected that, especially against Kevin, who's, who's six foot two. You know, uh, yeah, I don't know if anybody expected. To, to say that somebody expected that, there's no fucking way people expect Well, I, tw I tweeted I it went by first that. round, so. Huh? But any I had picked him in the first round. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. The question was, Hamza kind of, you know, he messed up the show. He misses weight. He's not, he's unapologetic for missing the weight. And like Joe asked him in the cage, like, how do you put him in a title fight if he misses weight by eight and a half pounds? So wh what's your reaction to it? I know you're generally pretty lenient on those things. What, what, what was the question? What, what, is your, what is your reaction to putting him in a title fight at some point if he's missing weight by eight and a half pounds? I mean, yeah, no, it's, it's his problem. Yeah, it's a problem that he missed weight. I don't know. We, we, we got we to gotta look at it and figure it out. And, you know, what makes sense is for him to fight at 180. So we'll see. Yeah. Dana, just how hard was it to react to yesterday and to get these fights reshuffled and everything? You've been through a lot of stuff with the company and being able to react, but how crazy was yesterday? Well, I mean, yeah, it was crazy, but, you know, if you think about it, 22 years we've been doing this, however fucking long we've been doing it, you know, it's what we do. We, we, we've always, we, we had that one year where the main event fell off. What, what is this, a mash unit? What's going on around here? It's crazy. <laughs> what, what are we gonna, this is insane. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we had a year, one year where every main event fell off that year, and we had to, you know, do some switching around, and it's, it's a nightmare, but we get it done. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.